What's good, r &B Squad? This is Heart of Roof. I trust that this message meets you guys in good spirits. If you are new to this family, we don't believe that you're here by accident. Welcome. We're happy to have you. And Jesus is, of course, always happier. So the word I have today comes from a few things that God showed me in the spirit and in the natural and a couple encounters that I had and some scriptures that he sent me to to accompany everything that he was showing to me. And originally I intended to put this word out yesterday, but I had to really sit with him and wrap my head around what he was showing me and what he was saying to me so that I could get it right when I came on here. And so he has made me ready to put this word out and there are a lot of different parts to it. So as you listen, you will know which part is for you or whether any of the parts are for you at all. Now y'all know how we do it here. Eat the meat, spit out the bone, take what's for you and leave the rest. I'm going to start in order of importance. Not that I'm saying that all parts are not important, but there are some things that God pressed more heavily on my spirit to deliver first. So in the spirit, this is the first part, in the spirit, I saw what looked like this flyer or it was some kind of pamphlet or something. And I remember opening it up and seeing in there all kinds of symbolism that had to do with different religious beliefs and different occult practices. And that was what caught my attention. There were all these representations of different religious beliefs. And behind those, just behind those, were all of these symbols for occult practices. And the headline said, Attention All Leaders. And then to the bottom, I saw Judgment, Burial, and Funeral. And when I woke up from that, I woke up almost in a state of shock when I came away from what I was seeing in the spirit. And the Lord immediately led me to Ezekiel chapter 8 verses 8 to 10. So I'm going to read that for you guys and it's also going to be in the description box. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in and behold the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. So notice in this flyer that I was looking at that said, attention all leaders. First, I saw religious symbolism, and some of that was Christian religion. And then right after that, almost like they were trying to obscure it or hide it, were all of these symbols that represented occult practices. Then I saw the words judgment, funeral, and burial. And then the Lord led me to Ezekiel chapter 8, verses 8 to 10, which I just read for you guys. God is getting ready to judge people who have an appearance or form of godliness, but are not actually godly. And this could look like religious leaders. This could look like persons who outrightly practice the occult. This could be people right in the body of Christ. Yes, there are people in the body of Christ who are not serving God. They're literally serving idols, literally into idolatry. And trying to whitewash it and make it appear as if they are Christian. The Lord is saying the hour of judgment has come. And don't be surprised, y'all Y'all might see this on a big scale or you might see it on a small scale. I don't know. The Lord did not specify exactly what scale he is going to do this on or where he's going to start. But do not be surprised if y'all start hearing about some sudden deaths. God has warned these people and let us remember that God is a righteous and just judge. He has been warning these people consistently. They have not been listening to him. The hour of judgment has arrived and he is going to take some people out. Do not be surprised if you hear of some deaths and they're going to be sudden. This might happen in your community. It might happen among the people that you know. It may even happen on a larger scale. Just know to watch for it. Whew. Lord, 
yeah, that was hard. That was hard to say that part, but I feel so relieved that that came out. I feel so relieved that I put that out. So moving on to the other things. The Lord showed me a man and a woman in the spirit. They were walking together. And there were two parts to this. Initially, when they were walking together and they were close side by side, literally walking hip to hip, I felt so much love flowing between the two of them. And the woman in particular, I could tell that she was so proud of the man, proud of the progress that he had made, proud of who he was now as opposed to who he had been before. And there was so much love between them. And then all of a sudden this guy comes in and he forces his way into the middle, see? And then he tries to put his arm around the woman. But I could tell from her body language and her thoughts that she really didn't want to have nothing to do with him. And this man, his intention purely was to put a separation between this other man and this woman who were so in love. So before I go on and I tell you all the second part of that, for someone, be careful of who is trying to get in the middle of your union. God has already shown you who your person is, or even if he has not shown you who your person is yet, know that this person that is coming and they're so intrusive and they seem so insistent on being with you just like that without you even properly getting to know them, that person is not of God. This man literally forced his way between this, this other man and this woman to try to separate them. And he was so, he seemed so obnoxious about it. So you're going to know that something isn't going to feel right about this individual when he or she arrives. It's not going to feel right. And that's how you're going to know that in spite of the interest that they show you, this is not of God. And be careful because they are sent on assignment to separate you or delay the coming of the person that God really has for you. Now going back to the second part of what I saw in the spirit. This man that had been walking with this woman before they were interrupted by the second man, the scene switched and they were back together again. And I heard the man say to the woman, no one after God, no one is going to take care of you like I will. And he meant it too. He said it with so much conviction. And I believed him and I could tell that the woman believes him. Because see, this person that God is sending into your life, God set them up in such a way to care for you, to cover you, to look out for you. And so they're right. After God, nobody's going to look out for you like they will. Nobody else can do the job. So Mr. Man, who was trying to get in the middle, and for some of you, it's a woman if you're a man listening to this, Whoever is trying to get in the middle, they need to leave and you need to make them leave immediately because they're not cut out for the job. Only the person that God ordained for you is cut out for the job. Let's see what else do I have here. For someone, and this actually came from an encounter that I had in Waking Life, I saw this ad go across the screen of my phone. And at first I wasn't paying attention to it, but then eventually God was like, pay attention. And it said, breakthrough, this July, 1st to 2nd. Let me say that again. It said, breakthrough, this July, 1st to 2nd. So for someone that is significant, there is some breakthrough that is going to happen early for you in the month of July. Go to God and seek further details on that. That was the only details that he gave me. He didn't give me additional details. What I saw was breakthrough this July 1st to 2nd. So for whomever that is for, take it to the Lord for further details. Let's see. What else do I have here? Guys, I'm just going through my notes because there was so much that the Lord showed to me. Right. Lastly, for someone... There is something that is going to come out in the open about your God-ordained partner. Something is going to be revealed about them. And don't worry, it's nothing that is going to hamper your progress with this person. It will actually propel the two of you forward in your union. So look out for that and be expectant. So I hope that somebody found their confirmation somewhere in here. I hope this message blessed someone. I hope it reached the right ears. I love you guys. I will be back with another word as soon as the Lord releases me. Take care.